I shouldn't be able to pass through one land to another without a bridge. In order to make it impossible, we need to attach to a tight collision. How to achieve something like that? And also how to make it quickly, not manually, slowly painting each corner. No, there is a really cool feature in Godot engine that will allow you to do it faster. And I'm gonna show you all the things in this lecture. Let's go. Choose the time map and then in order to attach a collision to a specific place in your tiles, you need to attach something what is called a physics layer to the tile map. And here you have something like that. Let's choose add element. Physics layer in Godot controls which objects can collide with each other. We're gonna talk about these layers, what to click here in future lectures deeply. For now, this is gonna work and as I said in the previous lectures, we want to make mini steps. We don't need to learn everything at once. How to attach now this physics layer to specific tile. Let's choose tile set because we want to set up, we want to change the behavior of the specific tile. And now there is something what is called painting here and it allows you to paint on properties. So for attributes of a tile, and here I'm going to choose something what is called physics layer. And this is the thing that we have created here. Notice that if I delete this, there is nothing to choose from. When I add it, now I have got the physics layer zero. And now we can paint. Let's move this using the right click. When I hold right click, I can move here. Let's paint, for example, here collision. Now go to the debug, visible collision shapes. And now let's play our game and let's see what happened. Notice that we have got here collision that we can't pass through, right? And only on the tile that I attached it. But this is very important. Notice that, uh, well, we can't go further, right? It's like, I don't think that the collision should end in this specific place. So in order to change it, let's go here and let's change the size of this collision for this specific tile. As you can see, we have got here points like that. We can move them using the left button. You can hold and move them. And I think something like that is gonna be pretty cool. So now when I paint it here and I play, as you can see, this looks better. I can paint it on other ties too. For example, here. But the problem is that each time I paint it, notice that it is like not placed in the proper place, right? So we need to change it by moving these little things here. But there is a faster way to achieve it. And notice that we have got here three dots and there are shortcuts in order to what to do to the collision that was created in this specific place. So I can, for example, flip it. As you can see, I can flip it right, right. And that's why now I can fastly print it here, right? Pretty cool. So. In order to create, for example, this place and this place properly, I'm gonna hit R and again R. As you can see, now I have all the corners pretty fast without having to play here. So how would I achieve making this corner? Here, I need to attach a new point and move it here. For example, another point and another point. So once I need to create a corner, right? But only once. Because when I paint it, I can now rotate it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And now when we run our game, the collision is attached to every corner. Let's remove the floor boundary from the last lecture. And let's see what will happen. As you can see, we've fallen down. We can jump, but we can move up and down. How to move up and down using controllers, like for example, Xbox, I will show you in the next lecture.